If you look at your next steps, it's going to talk about putting your bands on your sleeve and the band on the bottom of your jacket. So we're going to start with the band on the bottom of the jacket because we're going to do that one slight bit different than what it says. If you look, read your pattern guide, it's going to tell you to fold the band in half and to stitch it, pin it to, and stitch it to the bottom of the jacket. Fold it in half and then the idea is the band would roll down and this would be to come to the bottom of your jacket. In order to improve a technique and to be able to enclose the bottom of your zipper, I'm going to have you make a note in your pattern guide that instead of folding this band in half, you are actually going to attach it open and just sew one edge of the band to the bottom of your jacket. Now if it helps you, and you're using this, pad, this version, remember we sewed our pocket on and we stitch, top stitched in place top and bottom. If it helps you, and I have done this, you can baste the pocket on the other two edges to your jacket so that your pocket and your jacket act as one piece of fabric rather than two separate pieces of fabric that you have to then control and keep track of. And it will make this a little bit easier for you. And so you've got your band. You are just going to pin the front of the band to the front of the jacket. You will have a clip that is the center back of your band. Clip this the center back of my jacket. Align those. What that does is make sure that that little bit of ease, because the band is going to be slightly shorter than your jacket, that you get the same amount of ease on both sides of your jacket. And you don't have one side that lays flat and the other side that becomes a little bit more poofy as you, build, as you try to ease that fabric on. The larger your jacket, you may also have a mark or a clip for a side seam. This is actually a fairly small jacket, so it just has center back. It did not have a mark for the side seam. So I've got that space there. And then all you do is give that a tug till your band is the same length as your jacket. And you can take advantage of your cork tabletop and pin that in place or just kind of crawl in with your fingers like I am doing. To make sure that you are distributing that ease again. If you line it up, give it a pull just as you're holding, kind of crawl in to the center and pin the midway mark. And that will distribute that fullness along the band. Again, remember this is where you need to Give yourself a little reminder in your pattern guide that you are not actually following your directions. Your directions tell you to have folded this band in half first. But we are going to lay it on flat. Okay, when it's pinned in place, then we're going to stitch the band to the bottom of the jacket. All right, so now we are ready to sew the band to the bottom of the jacket. It is a 5 8 inch seam allowance, and so bring your needle down. A little back stitch. Remember this band is just slightly shorter than the jacket and so you do need to give a little bit of pull or tug to make certain that you've stretched the band to the length of the jacket. Depending upon your fabric, if you are stitching or making your jacket out of a, a really pretty stable sweatshirt fleece, you may not have any give. Your band may not stretch very far. In which case, if your band does not stretch, does not give, to make it as to make it um, the length of your jacket, you may have to actually run a row of e stitching along the bottom of your jacket and pull that e stitching up just a little bit to ease the jacket onto the band. But the fabric that I am using. This Nordic fleece has enough stretch in it that I can stretch the band to fit the jacket. I know that many of you, uh, you 
students like to use the sweatshirt fleece instead, and it, it is a far more stable knit than this Nordic fleece is. You'll sew along the band. Take a moment, just check your seam. Pull the band down, look along that area. Make sure that you don't have any tucks, that you are happy with what you've got there. And as long as you are happy with that, if you look at your guide sheet, the next step is to insert your zipper.